Hi, hi. This is Chris Terrell. We're actually going to be doing a another function, uh, an Excel function in VBA. Where today we're going to be doing the count a function. Uh, count a function is pretty cool. It counts basically everything that is non-blank. It's different than the count function. Count function only counts numerics. Um, so there's your count a function. It adds. It's there's 23 in there. So let's go ahead and go to the back end. You can Alt F11 will get you there. We're going to put in a module. We're going to call this function count a code. Anytime you have a function, you're passing a variable. So we're going to make range as a range. And that's just a variable that we're declaring as a range. Okay, so we're going to do our loop for each CL, which is another variable in range or in RNG. What that's going to do is it's going to go basically go through each cell within that range that we send over. We're going to go next. Anytime you do a for loop, it has to have a next to end it. Now we're going to go if CL equals if it's not equal, that's the not equal. It's not equal to double quote, which is blank. Then we're going to need to use another variable. I'm going to call this CNT plus one. I'm kind of going a little ahead of myself. We need to put this up here so it sets it to zero. Um, not not necessarily essential because it's going to start at zero, but uh, it's, that's kind of proper coding right there. Um, now all I have to do is make count a code equal to CNT, and that should be the code. Now all we have to do is just test it to make sure that it works. So I'm going to go back to Excel. I put in that stop so that um, we would see that it, it can actually watch the code work. So we're going to go count. Now notice count a code populates, which is awesome. Now that we have it in there as a function, Excel is smart enough to know that it's there. Go ahead and put quotes around that. Hit enter, and we're going to walk through this. I'm going to make another test variable just to show you, uh, so we can kind of watch to see what it does. So, um, hit F8. We notice that that is not empty, so we're going to count it, and we're just going to count all these. It's going to go through each one. Um, anytime you do a range in Excel uh, like this, if you do a for loop, it goes from left to right. And then down, um, so it's just like it's just like reading a book. That's the way that the code does it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here. Hit F5. I was hitting F8 to go step through. F5 will go through the whole thing. Now let's just go and make sure that everything is adding up correctly. Looks like a charm. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy it over. Um, it does not like my reference there. All right, so that's we're going to go ahead and lock that in. We're going to put an absolute cell reference on that. And I'm just hitting F4. That just basically locks that code in. Uh, sends it sends it over. So let's go like that. Um, we're going to change these. I'm just going to do these right here and just go like that. We're just we just want to do that one column. I want to do equals count a code. Highlight those right there. Hit enter. That's a six. Those, and I'm just hitting control R. That's a quick key. Um, notice that this is if Fred actually did work some hours. Let's say he actually. Oh shoot, we did. He did do five. Um, notice that that changes there. So that's your count a function written in VBA code. Just a little shows you kind of what happens on the back end. Hope you enjoyed.